The Battle of the Birds The Prince's Encounter with the Raven A king's son set out to see a battle where every animal fought. He promised to bring back to his father the news of who would be the king of the animals that year. The prince arrived when the fight was almost over. But he still managed to cut off the head of a snake and win the gratitude of a raven. The raven flew the prince to a castle where he met a handsome youth. Who gave him a bundle and warned him not to open it until he was in the place where he most wanted to be. The prince's deal with the giant. When the prince opened the bundle, a great castle sprang up and an irate giant demanded to know why he had put it there. It offered to put it back if the prince gave him his first son, when he reached seven years of age. The prince found a pretty maid and had a son. But when the giant came for his payment, they had to yield their own son. The daughter's request. The giant raised up the boy. One day, he heard music and found the giant's daughter. The daughter warned him that the giant would ask him to marry one of her older sisters. But she wanted him to insist on her because she did not like the bridegroom the giant had chosen. The giant demanded that the prince clean out the byre, or he would not get his youngest but be killed. He started to clean. The daughter came by at noon, and the prince fell asleep. But the buyer was clean when he woke. The giant set him to thatch it with birds down. The prince tried to hunt the birds. At noon, the daughter put him to sleep again, and the roofs were thatched with feathers when he woke. The giant knew he had not done it. The giant set him to fetch down a bird's nest. The daughter built him a ladder of her fingers, and when he got it down, she left her little finger in the tree. The Challenge But, the giant was not pleased and set them a challenge. He told the prince that he could marry his daughter only if he could pick her out from her sisters. And the only mark would be that she was missing a finger. The prince succeeded and they were married and celebrated. But, the daughter knew they had to flee at once. They rode a brown filly and left slices of apples that answered the giant. Only when the last one had spoken did he realize they had fled. The giant gave chase, but the daughter had the prince throw a twig from the filly's ear behind them, it became a forest. The giant got through it. And they threw a pebble that became a mountain. The giant got through it. And they threw a flask of water that became a wave and drowned him. The curse of the kiss. The daughter forbade anyone or thing in his father's house to kiss him, or he would forget her. But a greyhound leaped up to kiss him, and he forgot the daughter. The daughter stayed in a tree by a well. A shoemaker's wife and daughter, Going to fetch water, both thought her shadow was theirs, and thought themselves too beautiful to fetch water. The shoemaker went himself, saw her, and persuaded her to come down. When she stayed at his house, some young men tried to woo her, but she made them stick to the latch so they could not approach her. The shoemaker was making shoes for the king's son, who was to marry. The daughter persuaded him to take her. And she conjured up a silver and a gold pigeon, and grains. The silver pigeon ate the grains, and the golden pigeon taxed him with what the giant's daughter had done for the prince. At that, the prince knew her, and married her a second time. 